Hello everyone, my name is Nitin and as I promised you that in the next video I will be coming up with a UI path program in which we can take the data from n number of word files in a particular folder, right? So this video is going to be about that. Okay, so let's start without wasting any more time. So what I have done is I have created one folder inside the project only. For example, this is my UI path folder and this is practice. And inside this one folder I have created named word documents and inside this folder I have put three word files in which the content is hi please subscribe to my channel the UI path thank you and in the second one <coughs> it's like number two and uh, in the third one same content is just that I've changed the numbers one two three okay so we will read the data from all these three files we can put n number of files here but for just to show you I have put three files and we can take the data from all these using our robot so how we can do this okay so first I need the activity called assign activity we'll go to this section assign uh, activity and we'll take the activity assign activity okay <coughs> so now here I will create one variable by pressing control K and uh, let's take the name as uh, anything let's say files okay and in this since we want a list of files there is one function directory you can make a note of it okay dot get files this one and just make a note of what I'm doing files directory directory dot get files then we'll use brackets inside the brackets there will be double quotes okay and then I will paste the link of this folder where all my word files are there so how I can copy as path is I will press shift and I will press the right click so then this will copy this location as a path so I will click this see two brackets and inside two double quotes and I will paste okay so it is automatically taking the double quotes I can remove one double quotes from both the ends because I want only one double quote okay now it's proper now since it's a word file what we will do is we will press comma and we will take one double quote okay and one more double quote okay and inside these two double quotes what I will write is asterisk and asterisk two asterisk and inside these two asterisk I will write dot d o c x why I'm writing this is because it's a word file so comma then do double quotes two double quotes okay you can see I'll press it. comma two double quotes two asterisk and inside those two asterisk dot d o c x okay now why is this giving error okay it says variable you time one area, area of string can be cannot be converted to string okay now after giving this we need to change this into okay we'll go to array of this t and from int we will change it to string And the moment we do that, this validation error goes away. Simple. We'll go to this. I'll tell you again. We'll go to array of T and go there and string. Okay. Simple. Now, <coughs> we have given the path of all the files and we have assigned it to a variable. Now, what we want is we want each file to open one by one. For that, we will use 
for each activity <coughs> okay this will connect we'll go inside this let this be item or if you want you can change it also <coughs> now what was the variable that we gave here so all the files are under this variable as of now <coughs> now what we want is for each item in files okay so we'll give that variable this is the variable which is this variable okay we have given here what we want is we want the ui path to read all the files and give it back to us in a message box so i will write in the previous video i told you that you have to how you can read the text so now i will take the read text activity here because what i want is to read the text from each word file present in the files folder the directory so i will give item dot to string so it will read the word files one by one and i will give one variable here why i am giving the variable here is because i want it to be saved in that variable and later I, we will use the message box to display the result okay i'll press control k let's say word is the variable and it has taken that variable and now i will use one message box to check whether our robot is running fine or not so i'll give that variable here all the validation errors have gone i'll save it i'll go back to okay simple workflow let's see whether it's running properly or not okay it gives the third one first second one then first one yes fine so it's running perfectly fine okay so this is how you can use the word activity automation and um, n number of word files you can use so if you have liked this video you have to you got to subscribe to this channel and uh, look forward to my other videos okay thank you